Hello, and welcome to the Scholarly Communications video series from the Himmelfarb Health Sciences Library. My name is Tom Harrod, and I'm the Associate Director for Reference, Instruction, and Access here at the Himmelfarb Library. Today, we'll briefly be talking about finding journals in JCR, or the Journal Citation Reports. Let's get started. Here's an outline of what I'll be covering in today's session. First, we'll look at what is JCR. Then I'll show you how to access it through the Himmelfarb Library. And finally, we'll look at some examples within JCR. JCR, or the Journal Citation Reports, is a tool used by researchers and librarians to compare different journals within a specific field. Those comparisons are done uh, by use of a variety of metrics, including the impact factor, which are calculated using a journal citation information. Journal Citation Reports is a database that's part of the Web of Science database, but it's also a standalone product available through the Himmelfarb Library. Here we are at the front page for the Himmelfarb Health Sciences Library, and I'm going to show you how to access the Journal Citation Reports from this page. First, I'm going to scroll down and click on All Databases. From there, I'll go to the letter J, and the only option for me here is the Journal Citation Reports. So here, now that I'm on the JCR website, I can look up information about a particular journal. So I'm going to look up the New England Journal of Medicine. As I start to type, it will autofill, and here it is. So I'll click on that. Now I'm on the page for this journal, so if I scroll down, one of the first things they show me is the journal impact factor. So I can see that the 2020 impact factor for this journal is 91.253. Scrolling down a little bit more, I can see the five-year trend for the impact factor for this journal. So I can see 72.406, 79.260 a couple of years ago. So I can see how it has trended over time. Scrolling down some more, there are other metrics that they show, like the journal citation indicator, and you can read a description there of what that means. Uh, uh, more metrics and graphs. And down here, it will actually show me how this journal ranks within its category based on impact factor. So for the New England Journal of Medicine, it is the number one ranked or that has the highest impact factor of all 167 journals which they characterize as medicine, general, and internal. So that's another uh, useful piece of information that I can get from JCR in that it not only gives me the impact factor, but it helps me contextualize that by showing how that ranks among other journals within that category. And if I want to learn more about the journals within that category, Medicine, General, and, and Internal, I can scroll to the top of the record and I see the category that this journal is in is listed here. So if I click on that, it's going to bring me to a page where it shows me a descending order ranking of the journals within that category. So if I scroll down, I can see uh, the New England Journal of Medicine is number one. This is in descending order by impact factor, and I can see the other journals, uh, top journals within that field. A word of caution when using JCR, and that is that the impact factor is only one of many ways of evaluating a journal's impact, and it's based solely on an analysis of the average number of citations which articles in that journal receive in a given period of time. So, impact factor may not adequately describe the value or quality of a particular journal. Thank you for taking the time to listen to Finding Journals in JCR. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please visit our video library where you can find other associated videos in this series. If you have any questions about the material covered in this session or have questions specific to your own research, please don't hesitate to contact me at tph at gwu.edu. On behalf of the Himmelfarb Library Scholarly Communications team, thank you again for your time.